Have you ever been browsing through social media and wondered how people create graphics like this and this using screens for MacBooks, computers, phones, stuff like that to display screenshots of websites they've been working on or free guides and PDFs that they're sharing. So these are called mockups and in this video I'm going to be showing you two ways to create them. One of them is a whole lot easier than you would ever think as well. So if you've ever come across my social media or my website and portfolio and seen kind of the way that I display my client projects on my site using these um, computer images or iPad images and stuff like that, most of these are actually what's called a mock-up template that I've purchased from a company. Now where I usually go to look for paid and premium mock-ups is Creative Market. I'm going to leave some links below in the video description as well for you. If you literally just go here and type in mock-up and search that, you'll find loads of templates that you can use to create a mock-up of basically anything from computer and iPad screens to t-shirts to candles to packaging. There is so much you can do with mock-ups and most of these will be Photoshop files. So it does rely on you actually having Photoshop on your computer so that you can edit these and customize them with your own branding and your own computer screenshots, stuff like that. My personal favorites and the ones that I always use are by Moyo Studio. They've got so many many in various different kind of color palettes, but they're all very minimal, very kind of natural feeling, which really fits in with my brand. So I personally love using these ones. And that's where most of those will come from if you see them on my website. As I said, I'll leave some links below in the description for some of my favorites. So once you've purchased your mock-up file, you can open it up in Photoshop. And usually what will happen is they'll have like a blank screen ready for you to fill in with a screenshot of your own or your own branding. And if you come over to the layers panel down here on the bottom right hand side of my setup on Photoshop, you'll see there are several different layers within this graphic. So we've got the background, which is probably this kind of um, terrazzo table in the background. We've got the scene, which will include the iPad and the iPhone, and then we've got the shadow, which overlays on top. So in order to actually edit it, you want to open up the scene, go to whichever one you want to edit and add your own uh, screenshot to. I'm gonna open the iPhone one. And then where you see this little kind of, it's called a smart object in Photoshop. Um, but if you hover over, it tells you that this is a smart object that you're looking at. Um, if you double click on this, this will open up a second tab in Photoshop where you can then paste in your screenshot from your phone. So I'm just opening up the screenshot that I've taken from my phone in Photoshop. So it's opened in another tab here. What I'm first gonna to want to do with this smart object um, panel that's opened is check what size it is by going to image and then image size. Okay, it says it's 650 pixels. So now I'm going to want to resize this to 650 pixels as well. And I'm just gonna take my selection tool highlight the whole thing and press Command C on my computer to copy it, or you can go to edit and copy up at the top. Go onto the Smart Object tab and press Command V or go to edit and paste here, and it will paste it into the space. Now I'm gonna click Command Save, or you could go to File Save, and then go back to the original mockup and you can see it has added the um, phone screenshot into the mockup here, which is perfect. So obviously this is the method for if you have Photoshop and it's a little bit complicated and it does take a little bit of extra time, even if you're used to using it like I am. The other thing that you can do instead is use Canva, which is a free design tool. You can have a free plan and use this feature, or you could have the pro plan of Canva like I do. I pay, I think it's like, around $10 or something like that per month. And it gives me access to lots of other features. I absolutely love it and I use Canva for pretty much everything. Even though I am a designer, it's just so much quicker to use than things like um, Illustrator and Photoshop sometimes. So if you set up a Canva account, it doesn't matter if it's a free or a paid one and just scroll down to Smart Mockups. This is where you can create your mockups super, super easily in Canva without any need for Photoshop knowledge or having that installed on your computer. So you can see there's a range of different ones that we can try. Let's go ahead and click on the smartphones option. 
open. So you'll see here there are loads of different mockups to choose from and the blue screen is kind of saying this is where your design can go. You will also notice that some of them do have this little crown in the corner. So that means that you can only use these if you do have a pro plan, but there are still plenty of free ones to use as well. So I'm gonna scroll down here and let's go ahead and use this one. It's quite cute. So let's just select this. And now we want to upload our screenshot um, that I just had in my downloads folder, select it and click select. And this has automatically just created that mock-up for you. See how much simpler and easier that was than using Photoshop. And it will ask you if you want to use it in a design to edit it further, like if you wanted to add text over the top or something like that, or you can just download it straight away to your computer. And yeah, there it is. Super, super simple. Let me know which is your favorite method in the comments and why. I would love to hear kind of which version you find easiest or more professional looking. I hope you find this helpful and I'll be back again soon with another video.